Chapter 4 deals with counting problems. 4.1 is titled Counting Principles. Hannah plays on her school soccer team. The soccer uniform has three different sweaters, red, white, and black, and three different shorts, red, white, and black. How many different variations of the soccer uniform can the coach choose from for each game? One solution of this is to use a tree diagram. So to do that, we have sweaters and shorts. The three colors of sweaters are red, white, and black. But the red sweaters can be matched with the red shorts, the black shorts, or the white shorts. The white sweater can be matched with all three kinds of shorts again. And the black sweater can be matched with all three kinds of shorts again. So I can count each of these pairs to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possible different uniforms. But there is an easier method. It's called the fundamental counting principle. And it states that there are A ways to perform one task and B ways to perform another task. Then there are A times B ways to perform both. So in the case of the sweaters, let U be the uniform variations. Then U is equal to the number of sweaters times the number of shorts. 3 times 3 is equal to 9 variations. So in summary, the fundamental counting principle applies when tasks are related by the word AND. The fundamental counting principle states that if one task can be performed in A ways and another task can be performed in B ways, then both tasks can be performed in A times B ways. Some things you need to know. The fundamental counting principle can be extended to more than two tasks. If one can be performed in A ways, another can be performed in B ways, and yet another in C ways, then all tasks can be performed in A times B times C ways. The fundamental counting principle does not apply when the tasks are related by the word OR. In the case of an OR situation, if the tasks are mutually exclusive, they involve two disjoint sets, A and B. So the number of A and B is equal to the number of A plus the number of elements in B. If the tasks are not mutually exclusive, so if there's some overlap, then they involve two sets that are not disjoint, C and D. Then you can find the total number by subtracting that overlap. The principle of inclusion and exclusion must be used to avoid counting elements in the intersection of the two sets more than once. Outcome tables, organized lists, and tree diagrams can also be used to solve counting problems, but be careful because when you get a lot of different possible options, they are very difficult to complete.